Let's move on to biggest surprise. For me, I'm, I'm going to go first here, hopefully steal something from you, maybe, maybe not, but I picked Spencer Brown. And I had high hopes for Spencer Brown, thinking that he would be really good, you know, eventually down the road, maybe replace Daryl Williams, and I just didn't expect him to be inserted to this offensive line real, like, this fast. Now, you ever see that meme with, uh, I think it's called Flex Tape? You know, where the guy, he slaps the leak on the tub. He's like, oh, offensive line woes? Spencer Brown. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's what the Bills did by kicking Darrell Williams inside, who which, who was an all-pro tackle last year. You know, obviously he wasn't playing that great this year, but you can't ignore the fact that Darrell Williams was off a really good year. And Spencer Brown usurped him. And... You could look at Cody Ford's performance as a reason why this move was necessary, but I expected Spencer Brown to perform way worse than he has. Now, he is a rookie. He's going through, you know, growing pains, and we saw him let up a pretty bad sack against uh, Bud Dupree, against the Titans. But I I am really liking what I'm seeing from Spencer Brown, the tenacity, the effort, and moreover, this is the definition of hitting on a draft pick. You have a rookie third round pick out there starting on your offensive line and he's playing damn good football. Yeah, I so I don't know, I won't speak for you here, but compared to last week doing the defensive awards versus the offensive awards, I struggled a lot more with the offense because I I kept finding myself wanting to slot several guys into several spots. Mm. Um, so Spencer Brown was one of the people I wanted to put here. Uh, he's been a great surprise that I've loved him since the minute we saw him smashing through a table right after he got drafted. That was sick. Um, I, I have him getting an award down the road. Um, this is another spot I wanted to put Emmanuel Sanders and... That one's just mostly based on my bias. I I wasn't really expecting Sanders to come in and have the impact that he did, but I couldn't ignore my guy Dawson Knox here. You know, I expected a I expected a step forward from him, but what he's done so far this season, you know, even even the most firm Dawson Knox believers, I don't think would have predicted this. So I was looking at some of his numbers. Um, so last year he played in 12 games, put up 24 receptions, 288 yards, and three touchdowns. This year through six games, half the amount of times, or half the amount of games, he has 21 receptions, 286 yards, and five touchdowns. So I mean, for all intents and purposes, he he's already cleared the bar from what he did last year in half the games. Um, so I I really see him developing into that like legit tight end one you know maybe not in the kelsey elite tier but there's only like two of those guys that exist and i think part of what makes it such a big surprise for me is i have been a bills fan my entire life and never really saw a tight end that was a a true threat on the field so that like just adds another another piece to my surprise at the development he's had this year right I agree with you. Doss Knox has been a golden goose egg, <laughs> right? He, he just hatched into this monster that we've always wanted and dreamed. And I recently heard, I can't say for certain what other content creator said this, so I apologize for not knowing, but they referenced the fact that the Bills are 32nd in the league in spending in the tight end room to get Dawson Knox performing at the level that he is right now and spending dead last in the NFL for that position group is the definition of value huge return on investments and if Dawson Knox can still stay on this track and move past this broken hand 
um, you know, maybe he'll just throw with his other hand, you know, <laughs> you, you could, you could do that. We've seen what he did with his other hand at that, uh, two point conversion. Um, <laughs> but if, if he can still stay on that trend, I, I mean, this is just going to be something really special. I, I'm just so happy for the man and for this team that he's performing this well. So I agree with you, Dawson Knox, huge surprise. And like you said, if you're Dawson Knox stand out there and project your, you know, predicted this, I kind of have a hard time believing you because there's just so many haters out there on Dawson Knox. So it's hard to hear you, but I bet those haters are kind of being silent now. 